we are asked to perform the indicated operation. Notice how we have the square of a radical expression. There is no shortcut here. We need to write out the two factors, then determine the product. So we have two factors of three plus two times the square root of the quantity four x minus six. And now we find that product just like we multiply two binomials, which means we have four products. And we can think of this as a repeated distribution. We begin by distributing the first term of the first binomial into the second binomial, which gives us two products, one and then two. And then we distribute the second term of the first binomial into the second binomial, which gives us another two products for a total of four products. And now let's find the four products. First we have three times three, then we have plus three times two square root of the quantity four x minus six, which gives us three times two times the square root of the quantity four x minus six. And then we have plus two square root of the quantity four x minus six times three. Let's use the commutative property multiplication and change the order of the product and write it as two times three times the square root of the quantity four x minus six. And then for the final product we have two square root of the quantity four x minus six times two square root of the quantity four x minus six, which gives us plus two times two times the square root. Now we multiply the expressions under the square roots together, but because they are the same, we have two factors of four x minus six, which we can write as the square of four x minus six. And now let's begin simplifying. Three times three is nine, plus here we have six, square root of the quantity four x minus six, plus another six square root of the quantity four x minus six. And now we need to be careful here, we have plus two times two is four, and notice how this square root simplifies perfectly, because we have two factors of the quantity four x minus six, and therefore this simplifies perfectly to one factor of four x minus six, which gives us four times the quantity four x minus six. Now we need to clear the parentheses here and combine like terms. So we have nine. Notice how here we have like radicals, and because six plus six is equal to 12, this gives us plus 12 square root of the quantity four x minus six. And now we distribute the four here, which gives us plus 16 x, and then minus 24. And now we have one more step. Notice how we have two constant terms. Nine minus 24 is equal to negative 15. Let's write the final expression as 12 square root of the quantity four x minus six plus 16 x minus 15. This is a simplified expression for the square of the given radical expression. I hope you found this helpful.